Welcome to Design World's How to Calculate series, where you learn how to apply the most important equations for sizing, selecting, and comparing linear bearings. In this session, we'll learn how to calculate the L10 life for recirculating ball and recirculating roller bearings. Calculating the L10 life is a fundamental step in sizing and selecting a recirculating bearing. The L10 bearing life equations for ball and roller bearings are similar, but not exactly the same. We'll explain how and why as we go along. First, let's take a quick look at the bearing life equation. This equation was originally developed for radial bearings, but it's also applicable to linear bearings. It provides a theoretical life of the bearing in meters of travel, assuming there are no detrimental factors such as shock loads, vibrations, or environmental contamination. It also assumes proper lubrication, which is critical for a linear bearing to achieve its rated life. The L10 bearing life equation is based on international standards and was developed through both real-world testing and statistical analysis. L10 life is theoretical life that 90% of identical bearings operating under the same conditions would achieve. This is why it's called the L10 life. In this equation, C is the dynamic load capacity of the linear bearing. This is important because it means you have to make a preliminary bearing selection in order to know the dynamic load capacity. Or we could approach the equation backwards, specifying the life we want to achieve and using the bearing life equation to determine the required dynamic load capacity. We'll show that approach in another video. Next, F is the applied load. In some cases, the applied load isn't straightforward and it has to be calculated based on varying loads and combined force and moment loads. But here, we'll assume the applied load is a pure downward force on the center of the bearing block or carriage. So with the dynamic load capacity C and the applied load F, we can easily determine the bearing's L10 life. Notice that the life is multiplied by 100,000 meters or 100 kilometers. Some manufacturers use 50,000 meters or 50 kilometers as the basis for bearing life. So if you're comparing different bearings, even if they're from the same manufacturer, be sure they both use the same distance as a basis. If you're making a comparison between a bearing whose capacity is based on 50 kilometers and a bearing whose capacity is based on 100 kilometers, you can do one of two things to make a true apples to apples comparison. Either multiply the load capacity of the 100 kilometer bearing by 1.26 or divide the load capacity of the 50 kilometer bearing by 1.26. Why does this work? Think of it this way. If you're carrying a backpack that weighs 10 pounds, you might be able to carry it for five miles. But if you're carrying a backpack that weighs 30 pounds, you might only be able to carry it for two miles. So by using a shorter distance, 50 kilometers versus 100 kilometers, as the basis for bearing life, the manufacturer is able to rate the bearing with a higher load capacity. We mentioned earlier that the bearing life equation is slightly different for bearings that use balls versus rollers. The difference is in the superscript on the load ratio. For recirculating ball bearings, the ratio of dynamic load capacity to applied load, C over F, is raised to the third power. But for recirculating roller bearings, the ratio of dynamic load capacity to applied load, C over F, is raised to the 10 thirds power. The difference between the ball bearing and roller bearing life equations is due to the type of contact the rolling elements make with the raceway, that is, point contact for ball bearings versus line contact for roller bearings. Now that you know and understand the L10 bearing life equation, you can properly size and select linear recirculating ball or roller bearings for any application. For more information on linear bearings and other motion control topics, visit motioncontroltips.com or designworldonline.com. Thanks for watching.